Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you to Star Drifters for the game key. We're going to be taking a look at First Dwarf. It is in Steam Early Access. There is a demo available and it goes for $24.99 USD. For more info, check the video description below. Now let's get into it. Thank heavens, you're still breathing. What was that storm? <laughs> it wasn't natural for sure. Oh. But next time, maybe work on your landing technique. All right, now we're actually controlling. So, can we repair? We can repair. Just look at this mech. That's what I call good dwarf workmanship. A few dents. <laughs> That's all. Oh, we no need perch, though. Away. Now, let's see what's left of the airship. Oh, my hammer. Good thing I didn't fall far. Alright, harvesting's pretty simple this game. Hammer is kind of like your go-to of everything. Your chimney. Yeah, your gears. I've salvaged what I could. We can look around. Some pieces might have landed elsewhere. But I think it's a good spot. The smell of the forest. Time to build a base. I think by the time you get all your your resources, you then can repair. The mech is ready. Time to get in. All right, to get in. Why? All right, now let's enter build mode. Build the main base. Let's build it around here. We got the main base. And to rotate up and down. Harvest all these things so we have better chance to kind of put things closer. Wood and stone. Oh, let me see it. Yeah, we've already started doing the wooden stone too, which is nice. That's your mana. Uh, Cory. This looks like a good place to dig. Wait a moment. Look at these scratches. 
Somebody has been here before us. A rock must have broken off. That's it. These are wild lands. We are the first to explore here. What's that sound? What is it? Uh oh. I think something that doesn't want to be our friend. Oh, let's destroy the little nest that it has. I think it used to be a wild animal. No, such things never appear one at a time. It's like an illness spreading through the body. It's only the beginning. You done enough digging? Yep, that's it. Now we can build a well on the mana spring. The colony building needs mana, just like my armor. Alright, now we gotta do a mana well. Let's harvest a lot of here. Because the mana is gonna basically be our power source. Uh, we can extract, but we don't want to. We have to... Build a contraption. To harvest it on its own. I could dig stone all day. I've sure had enough of kind wood. It's high time to build a sawmill. Power it up with a mana pipe. Well, let's cut all these out. They're just gonna get in the way. Say, so I want to say I think the pipeline is above ground. And this will remove any sort of straight shot that we have. So we'll just harvest all this real fast. I mean, it's resources that we're going to need regardless. We're going to cut a mountain at some point. Might as well do it now. suit here now we gotta build power source to it and that is this first one let's see uh, how far do you go Okay, so you're gonna go there. There. And then... Oh, it's gonna be short one, isn't it? That's a little annoying. You know what, we'll go this way, because we kinda have to go this way anyway. The stone mine in the quarry and connected to the pipeline. You said you could dig stone all day. Work first, play later. Build this, then stone quarry. And then we have to put power to it. Still haven't prepared for unwanted guests. Expecting someone? All the filthiest things in this world like to come out at night. I can breathe fire, but I'm afraid you won't make. We could use some defensive turrets. Let's hurry up, my poor defenseless true. 
All right, got those. Let's uh add another one of those. Get that going. Get that connected. So we're gonna have to harvest more things because they're gonna want us to put defensive turrets and whatnot up. So we're gonna have to clear the some of this area out just so we can have first the materials, but then secondly, room to operate here when we have to defend our base. We should be safe now. Whatever comes close to this turret will reflect it. And if the turret... At what? I will keep silent, but remember, it's an anxious kind of silence. All right, well... Ooh, the smell! True. Something really, really bad is going on here. No. Nope. I can see that. The monsters think they're... It's not about the monsters. Something much worse. As if all magic in this place. We have to destroy there you go, now we power it. Oh, now they're starting to come through. Oh, there's just so many of them. I should honestly let them come in. Nope, you're not getting over here. Hold the repair. Oh, there's one all the way back here, didn't he? He snuck right by everybody. Is that all of them? Oh, we have to repair this. Now we got the dark stone. Oh, we're trying to do the parry thing. There we go. Council wants to send settlers here. I'm a bit worried as well. But oh, who are we to criticize the verdict as a noble council? Well, she just kind of did right now. These lands can be home to our clan for. We'll get ripped apart by wild beasts. Not if we clear the island of those abominations. Come on, we have a job to do. Oh, Darkstone, a concentration of dark magic. Maybe it would be better not to leave it here. You're right, I think. We need to build houses. I still think we need a turret back over here. But let's start building some houses on this side. One there. We could do another one here. And I guess we'll put another one here. I'll put one maybe here as well. We to repair this at all? No. That's almost done, but now we have to connect them all. All 
All right, so let's have power. Go the opposite side. I hope they will have better lives here. Do you know how many have said this before? Generation of... It's good to finally understand them. Let's go. All right, so I think we got those turrets doing overwatch. Feel like we need another one back in here, though. And maybe fences, too. I feel like fences could probably slow them down. I really hate that that just exhausts resources and you can't get back. That's really annoying. All right, let's see what this ancient tower is. Oh, cutscene. I'm almost certain that this is one of the ancient escoing ports. These half buildings, half machines, guided airships, and served as half. Look, escoing ruins. They have stood here for thousands of years. Look here. This looks like some escoing junk. It's not junk. These are remains of the escoing technology. I can use them to develop blueprints for new technology and research centers. I just saw that spark. Keep an eye on such ruins. They can contain more of those technology remains. Oh, another mana. Okay. Something is not right here. The tower is saturated with dark magic. This crystal is the source of it. Let's take it off. Well, the gearing looks good, but we need a navigational stone for the port to function correctly. Navigation stone? Oh, no, we don't have one of those. Right, let's search the crash site. Perhaps the navigation stone is still there, buried among the rubble. But if we want to find the wheel, we have to look for it near the airship. Well, let's go to this crash site. Crash trail ends here. I don't see navigation stone anywhere. Aye, it must have fallen off somewhere else. We must find it. I have an idea where it might be. We're gonna leave our body here. And... Guess we're going to the dragon. Let's go over here. What is this? Like a portal? Renewal point. Breathtaking. This view has no comparison to the closed spaces of the Great Dwarven Library. So that noise was the broken chain from the dwarf mech. Oh, there's blue crystal. Got it. I'm back to the grumpy dwarf. I've lost a mana connection. Well, there is no convenient way to quickly get back. Artifacts of an ancient hammer. Oh, I didn't mean to change that. Marks, you say? So it's a war hammer. If I find more hammer remains, I can develop a blueprint for it. So there's one over here. Let's go through our door. And we'll close it so at least it's another extra second barrier that our guys could probably take on. Oh, there it is. Found it. That's it. Another hammer artifact. And we got some berries. All 
right, so now we're on a new floating island. And we're looking for a oh, Vuplint. No, we don't need to activate it yet. Uh, oh. Oh. Finally, I had to wait for it to recharge. All right, now where is the part at? Must be enough. No, we can craft a powerful warhammer at the workshop. All right, we found it. Let's go back to the workshop. Let me get the navigation stone. <laughs> it fits. Did it do anything? <sighs> Nothing. Oh. Just as I expected. Maybe this. Wait a minute. The Escoim also used mana. Let's connect the pipe and see what happens. Alright, I guess now we have to put one of these guys. Like that. Let the mana flow. I'll probably need a turret up here. Right. What do you know? It worked. To defend this. Uh, we're gonna be able to anywhere. There we go. And that's gonna cover the backside. So hopefully. This one turret will be able to save this whole mana area. I'm not a fan of this being so far away. Now we gotta go to the Raven. Nevermore. And the Ravens will be here around the houses. Around our house. Send it to go get the dwarfs. Have a good trip! Ha <laughs> I can't believe it. I hope he succeeds. He will succeed. I believe in it. The first colony is finished. But this, this is just the beginning. All right. I think they're going to show up soon. But thanks for watching, guys. This was First Dwarf. It is Steam Early Access. There is a demo available. It currently runs $24.99 USD. Thank you to Star Drifters for the game key. And for more info, check the video description below, and we'll catch you in the next one. Later.